XW Outside the Ring host. My name is Chad Miley. Really, we're gonna, we're gonna start it out like this. I want to start it off on a classy note. Let's let these people know truly who we are. I'm the founder, the creator of the Milan Management Agency, and you, well, you're Skylar Pierce. You got nothing. Well, I do have a few things, but we'll get to that later on. You just saw just a few moments ago Todd Countryman stripping the rebel Jeremy Wyatt of the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. And unbelievable folks, I mean he just won the championship but unfortunately he did get injured and we do not have a 3XW champion. Well as unfortunate as it is that the 3XW Heavyweight Champion finds himself injured it's a greater opportunity for those on the 3XW roster because the title will be held up in the Gauntlet for the Gold. That's right, the Gauntlet for the Gold, the 30-man over-the-top rope battle royal where two men start out and every minute another wrestler comes in until the final participant goes over the top rope. Normally, it is for the number one contendership, but for the first time ever, it will be for the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. Well, I'm sure that there are plenty of people who want to get their hands on the title, the heavyweight title, Milan Management Agency included, but of course, you know, just in the interest of fairness, 3XW decided to get words from some of the other participants. Why don't we go to those right now? 3X Wrestling fans and Des Moines, it has been a while, hasn't it? But nobody knows better than Knight Wagner what it's like to win some championships. And next month, May 25th, I am coming to Des Moines to win the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. And when I win it, I can guarantee you that we are going to party like nobody has before. Des Moines, get your cups filled. We are partying. Whoa! Gauntlet for the gold. Gauntlet for the gold. You see, this belt on my shoulder right here, soon that's gonna be replaced with the 3XW heavyweight title after Jason Strife goes through 29 other men in the Gauntlet for the gold. Why do I need to win the Gauntlet for the gold? Because I have 30 other murders out there. Put the lights on the lights, just like I do every day. I gotta do it for my fans, for my family, Oh, 
next month, 3XW, Gala for the gold. Casanova's bringing the title belt back home with him because he's the sexiest dude in Des Moines, in Glendale, in Atoma. Wherever we go, the ladies all want me, and they'll want me even more if I got the belt around my waist. Yeah! You know, sometimes in professional wrestling, one man's pain is another man's gain. And while I hate to hear about Jeremy Wallace's injury, I plan on making it my game. I plan on climbing to the top of 3X Wrestling next month as a gauntlet for gold, and knowing that it stands in my way of becoming the new 3X Wrestling Heavyweight Champion is 29 great superstars in professional wrestling. Tell you the truth, I kind of like my odds. She's got him up. I'm here with wrestling legend, the one and the only Perry Saturn. Perry Saturn, your thoughts on winning the 3XW Pure Heavyweight Championship? First of all, it's cool to be champion, but pure wrestling champion, I won it brawling in a pair of blue jeans and taped fist. I don't know how pure you can call it, and that's how I'm going to defend it, brawling. See ya. Your champion, the legendary Perry Saturn. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 3X Wrestling's Outside the Ring. You've just seen Perry Saturn winning the 3XW Pure Wrestling Championship. I mean, can you call that an upset? I mean, he's a legend in the business. He's just coming back into professional wrestling, and he wins a title. It's amazing. It is just completely amazing. Well, I mean, I found it absolutely surprising as I'm sure a lot of people out there in the locker room found it surprising. You've got Perry Saturn, a man who's faced incredible hardships throughout his entire life. A man who completely was seemingly off the face of the earth for the longest time to come back and to do it here in 3XW. To win the Pure Wrestling Championship, a, a title that's very, very prestigious. And to do it against two of the top superstars in all the Midwest. Even a man such as myself has to give a little bit of credit and a little bit of applause to a person who can accomplish so much that it actually made me speechless. Which is a very rare occurrence, I might add. But you know who's not speechless? Who? The 3XW superstars. Coming up, some more interviews with Gauntlet for the Gold contestants. Let's go to write that. Gauntlet for the Gold, SBC, Right here at All Play in Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, you better believe I want it. I want it really bad. I have been busting my butt, working out the gym, perfecting my craft. Well, the time for SBC is now. The time for Sir Bradley Charles is now. May 25th. Best believe SBC is bringing the house down. I'm going to be tossing guys out one by one over the top rope. And at the end of the day, when it's all settled, when the dust clears, when the smoke is gone, when the charade is over, SBC will take his rightful place at the top of 3XW and become the new heavyweight champion. Oh, 3XW, do you know who's, who spent the most time ever in 3XW's gauntlet for the goal? You're looking at him, baby. Delicious Devin Carter. I swear, I come in 
in early and I stay late. And every time, at least most of the time, I've won like two or three of them. Check the books. Maybe it was just one. Entire countryman threw me out. But that was a mess. Anyway, I spent more time in that ring in the gauntlet for the gold than anybody out there combined. And that's exactly why I'm going to win the game thing for the third or fourth time or however many it is. I lose track. But I'm going to win it and I'm going to win the bout. Yeah. 3XW fans, get ready for. No. Not at all. You see, I've been waiting for my opportunity, and at Gauntlet for the Gold, I'm not only going to fist pump my way through everybody in that gauntlet, but I'm going to fist pump my way straight into the 3XW Championship. I'm Matt Nyberg. Here t I'm here with... I'm here with Mitch Black. Look, are you going to win the Gauntlet of the Gold, or what? I got myself into it.
Dr. American Grabbing Air just won the title's back. Yes. Ben Taylor's going insane. Nate Bash is very hurt. Took a lot of damage there. And all that chaos. No good stuff, the American Bulldogs. Matt on the ground scouted all those distractions, those interferences. And they come away with the belts. What a moment here. Not as if it's John West. This crowd rose to its feet as soon as they heard that three count. And next month, we're the golfer going over the top. Who we have? We've got Eric Cannon and Eric Aaron Corbin. Yeah, the they, party boy. That's right. See, these guys are new to us, but we're not new to them. We've been watching them. We know what we are going to do to them. We're going to go in, we're going to win, and we're going to take home a tag team goal. And welcome back to 3X Wrestling's Outside the Ring. And uh, I think Chad Mile is now figuring out that there are new 3XW Tag Team Champions, the American Bulldogs. You saw it right there, the American Bulldogs defeated the American Ground and Air. So we've had another 3XW Tag Team title change in a matter of months. Now the American Bulldogs are the Tag Team Champions. And also what you saw, you saw Mike Seidel getting injured to the hands of Darren Corbin, which now sets up for the 3XW Tag Team Championship next month, the anarchist Eric Cannon and Darren Corbin taking on the new 3XW Tag Team Champions, the American Bulldogs. When did this happen? Well, you were escorted out of the building after the, what you did that night. It doesn't matter what we did on Friday night. I tried to get the rest of the show on the radio. There's not one station that carries 3XW. Bulldogs? The Bulldogs. Tag Team Champions, the Bulldogs. Yes. And by the way, I don't think they broadcasted pro wrestling on the radio since at least 1984. Well, then what decade is it? Anyway... Chad has now taken off, hopefully to go calm himself down here, but we'll be right back. We're going to get some more comments from 3XW superstars in the gauntlet for the gold. In February, there was supposed to be a battle royal for a shot at the 3XW heavyweight title. It didn't happen. There was supposed to be one in March. That didn't happen because Jeremy Wyatt broke his leg, and as a result, the title is vacant. And that gauntlet for the gold, there's going to be another battle royal for that belt. And this time, the punk rock icon, Tony Sly, is going to come out on top. I've been in 3XW since the beginning, and it is time that the heavyweight title goes around my waist. I'm going to tear it down, and I'm going to rise up, and I'm going to be the champion. What happened tonight was a fluke. But you know what they say. When the door closes, another one always opens. And next month, May 25th, it's the gauntlet for the goal. And it's every man for himself for the 3XW heavyweight title. And I'm sure every other person has come in this room and told you all that it's their turn and it's going to be their night to seize the opportunity. But they're all wrong. You see, this is my time, my time out there to be the champ, to get my hand raised. Those 30 other 3XW competitors, when you step through those roles on May 25th, you step into the crosshairs of the professional. And I never miss my mark. Next month, the gauntlet for the gold, 30 3XW superstars. I'm sure everyone stood here and told you the same thing. I'm not here to tell you anything. Just show up next month and I'll show you what I can do. Hello, 3XW fans. John Bond backstage here yet again with a fabulous announcement. May 25th, right here at the 4 K Center, all play Gauntlet for the Gold. Now, I've been in this company for a long time, and I've done a lot of things. I've been a cameraman, I've been an interview guy, I've done commentary, I've set up the ring, but I've never got in the ring. But May 25th, Gauntlet for the Gold! John Bond is coming for his shot at that 3XW Gold Daddy. Woo!
John Bond. John Bond in the gauntlet for the gold. Um, yeah, I don't see that happening, but I, you never know what will happen in the gauntlet for the gold. When did we get a third camera? I thought I was the only one that got a special camera. No, we... Get we out of my one. shot! Get out of my shot! Jeez. Anyways, I'm still focusing on John Bond being in the gauntlet for the gold. That just... Who? Exactly. Anyways, we're, we're back. Welcome to 3 Express is outside the ring once again. And, by the way, what is this talk of Mahler being number 30? Mahler, number 30 in the gallon for the gold. The very last guy to walk out there. You see, he drew the lucky ping pong ball that was etched with number 30. You see, the Milan Management Agency, we have a, a multitude of chances to win this year's gallon for the gold. We've never done it before, but this year, you see, I've got Ricky Kwong. I've got Domino Rivera, I've got the Mauler, and I've got the new guy, the big guy, 333 pounds. I got Mustafa, the Turkish terror Mustafa from Turkey. And you think the Mauler's number 30? The Mauler is number 30, but more, but, but, but beyond all of that, I, I want to talk about the new guy here, the Turkish terror, Mustafa. You see, the other week, I was down in Kentucky, and I was talking to a good friend of mine, Mr. Jim Cornette. I told Jim Cornette about a lot of my problems that I've been having here in 3XW. You're still my camera shot, by the way. I was talking to Jim Cornette about a lot of our problems that the Milan Management Agency has been facing around here, and the, the disrespect that we've been shown, and, and, and a lot of the people's attitudes towards us, and I said, Mr. Cornette, could you please give me the phone number of somebody who could solve some of these problems, and of course he did, and I flew the man here in the Milan Management Agency's private jet, and he was here, and he completely decimated Ray Stryker, but yes, back to your original point, Mahler is number 30, the very last guy in the gauntlet for the gold, giving us the greatest chance to win the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. And my God, will that look great up on the mantle? I'm going to sit there, and I already got the contractors working on this. I'm going to sit there, put it up above the fireplace. It's going to hold a, a place of, of great respect in my mansion. Um, the Mahler is not number 30. Oh, what are you talking about? Well, um, you might want to watch this footage. He's at Rivera. Oh, and now we're down to Matt Cage and Matt on McDowell. And how huge would it be for Matt Cage to eliminate Matt on McDowell here and go on to our over the top three event as the final entrant in that battle royal for the heavyweight championship. Oh, what up, people! And McDowell wins in his hometown, and he's got a prime position. They're going to check on stage. I think he's hurt. three interesting tag team champions and now he will be the final entrant in the gauntlet for the gold at over the top three in Des Moines. When a guy with that kind of size is coming in last, it's going to be tough for anybody else to and take we've that. we've seen in the past, in past gauntlet for the golds, McDowell actually entered number one and I believe number one or two and he actually lasted to the final three. Incredible endurance for a big man and they, wow, what a great opportunity for Matt on McDowell. Taking him a lot of time to set up this. Oh, low blow. Distract. Oh, wow. What a shot Kutcherman took there. Kutcherman hit very hard. Roll up in the ring. Saturn got him. Kutcherman is down on the floor. And then another wild series of events at the end of the bout gets Saturn the victory. Unbelievable run Saturn's on in his comeback here to professional wrestling. Still the pure wrestling champion. And I can't wait to see who he takes on next. Certainly Sir Bradley Charles is looking for an opportunity. But there's a lot of big names that want to take a shot at Perry Saturn right now. 
as you see, Devin Carter and Todd Gutfriend both on the arena floor. This is an absolute disgrace of professional wrestling. This is the most disrespectful. Mueller got number 30. Mueller got number 30. He drew the 30th ping pong ball. He was the last guy to pull his number. Doesn't matter what number was on the ping pong ball. He was the last guy that was asked we to We didn't even use ping pong balls. It was a random computer check and we kept number 30 open. But you see, if you guys weren't kicked out of the building, what you did to Ray Stryker, you would have found out that in Grinnell, Iowa, we were going to have a battle royal to determine who was going to be number 30. The only person that didn't get the message was Domino Rivera, which, by the way, he almost won number 30, but unfortunately... The refs were probably biased, I'm sure. I'm sure it had something to do with an issue about his green card because he's obviously been having a lot of problems with that. He's been having a lot of people such as yourself, people who look like you, disrespecting him quite a bit. But, but so, so you're saying that... The, we, we didn't draw ping pong balls then? No, maybe you drew a 30 on a ping pong ball. But who is number 30 now? Mad Dog McDowell. My guy with the American Bulldog. So it looks like there's a really good chance that I could be managing the 3XW heavyweight champion at the end of the night. But who knows? It's a great opportunity for anyone. But it's going to be a really good chance when I punch you in the face, you're gonna have a really good chance of going to the hospital. We don't want to start this again. We've already had enough problems between the MMA and the American Bulldogs. Let's not start something right now, right here on Outside the Ring. Love to show down your started. tag team titles, by the way. Make a fine necklace out of them. Are you finished? Yeah. All right. And now to another important moment. What we just saw earlier, Todd Countryman interfering in the Perry Saturn Devin Carter match in Grinnell, Iowa, and unfortunately, Todd Countryman was injured during that attack. You haven't heard of this? Injured? Apparently, Todd Countryman was injured. From what I have hear from the Director of Information, I'm not going to give you the medical term because, I mean, it's hard to describe. Basically, he hurt his knee. This is what he claims he hurt his knee. Maybe Todd Countryman is just hiding out, maybe trying to pull some trickery at over the top. Excuse me? Trickery? You think he's faking it? He could be faking it. Todd Countryman has done a lot of devious things here in 3XW. That's my family you're talking about. No, no, no. You know, Todd and I might have our problems, but I certainly don't want to hear you talking ill about my family. Ooh, I'm really scared of you, Chad. Maybe, maybe, maybe you want to give him a call or something. See, how, you're just hearing about it now. I'm, I believe he hasn't given you a phone call to say, hey, I'm injured. Maybe he is faking it. If I was hurt, I would want to make sure my family knows, hey, I am not being able to do anything here. Maybe you might want to give me a call and wish me like a good, uh, get well soon or something like that. Get well soon. Yeah. Get well soon. Flowers, nice yeah. little teddy bear. Yeah. You've got to be the most disrespectful person I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, come on, Chad. He's done many things here that trick everybody in 3XW. I would not doubt that he's probably sitting at home doing a little jig right now thinking that we're believing. A jig. A jig, yeah. A jig. Yes. What is this, 1927 now? You know you're dressed like 1927. You know what? I'm going to call him. I, I, I want to know about his well-being. I, I want to know how he's doing. And, and more importantly, I want to know about his guys. Did any of his guys do anything to help him out? Huh? What about Genesis? We'll have to find out here. I'm, no, I finish up the show. I'm going to go make a phone call. Pig. 3X Wrestling has events all over Iowa, and we want you there. Experience the on-site action, visit the 3XW store, and meet the wrestlers. Hours of wrestling entertainment for $15 or less. Monthly TV tapings take place at the Baradas at Forte 3XW Coliseum in downtown Des Moines, the fourth Friday of every month, where doors open at 7 and bell time is 7.30. Check out 3XWrestling.com for more details and to sign up and find out when we're coming to your community. 3X Wrestling, you gotta be there. No reception, just no reception Can at you all. Get out of the shot, jeez. There's no reception here. Anyways, oh, hello? 3X Wrestling presents over the top yeah. three at all play at the Beretta's Forte Ballroom. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Tickets are on sale now. Advanced tickets are at J C D and Hobby and Cup the Kryptonite.
You can also get them at 3xwrestling.com. Anyways, quick lineup. What are you doing over there, Chad? This is ridiculous. Anyways, the 30-man over-the-top rope battle royal to determine the new 3XW heavyweight champion, the gauntlet for the gold. This time it is for the 3XW heavyweight championship, the first time ever this is going to happen. We also have the American Bulldogs, the 3XW tag team champions, taking on Darren Corbin and the anarchist Eric Cannon. A singles match between Tyler Cook and Ben Saylor. A six-man tag. Genesis representatives Gage Octane, Delicious Devin Carter and Casanova taking on Sexy and Smooth and the punk rock icon Tony Sly. Also a great match between Jimmy Rockwell and Shane Hollister. This show will also be a TV taping for our great television stations KCWI and KWKB. So we want you to come on out, check out 3xwrestling.com, check out all of our great action online on YouTube. You can go to 3xwrestling.com to check out a links to get to all the great action, and we will see you at the Baratas Forte Ballroom in Des Moines, Iowa on May 25th. Do you know how to work a Blackberry? No, you probably don't. Hello? Hello? Good night.